I'm Betsy Grams. This is the Kidderod. It is just like the Iditarod in Alaska, only different. Instead of the dogs doing all the hard work and heavy lifting like they do in Alaska, today about 900 kids and some adults too will be providing their own horsepower over about a two mile winter adventure course. Today on the course, they'll start with some kick sledding um, which is provided to us by our host partner, Three Rivers Park District. Then they'll take off into the woods and they'll go uh, over and under natural obstacles, logs that we've put in strategic position that they have to climb over or go around. They will do obstacles on the beach. They'll test their balance. They'll do a climb over. Um, they'll run up and down hills in the woods and then they will end with one of the biggest luge courses. <laughs> Um, in, on this side of town that Tony built for the kids. I'm Tony Schiller, co-founder of Cycle Health and one of the leaders of the Kidderod. It's really important and necessary for us that a kid crosses our finish line and says, racing something I like to do and I want to do more of. And so we set up the whole experience, not that everyone's a winner at all. Our whole experience is that everyone comes across the line realizing, I like that. I like using my body to get me places. We exist for all kids, but especially the kid who finds himself or herself as the underdog and has decided that the video games are more fun than playing outside. And so we want to delight them with outdoor courses that are in nature, that are off-road, that they could set up in their, in their own neighborhoods if they had a little imagination and have them go home in the car tonight saying, you know what? I was actually kind of good at that. I like sweating outside in the winter. I want to do that again. One of the common refrains we hear is, I wish they had this when I was a kid. Because so many adults have had a bad experience in sports. A lot of adults will tell us at the race, this, this just is the right kind of energy and spirit. I wish I had had that. Seeing so many kids now in our six years cross the finish line with more confidence than they started with. And hearing from parents, that they didn't want to take off their race shirt, ever. That they wanted to sleep in it and wear it to school. And that they wear their medal to school. And that, you know, all of a sudden they had a kid who was willing to try the next hard thing that came around. And when you hear stories like that, it just can't help but make us think, okay, well, how can we do it even better? How can we welcome even more kids? How can we break down some barriers so all kids can come and join us?